Good morning everyone. Today I'm waking up in Ozark St. Francis National Forest at Haw Creek Falls Campground. Uh, it's a pretty nice area. It's super green here. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, basically I'm waking up at camp. I'm going to tear down, make some breakfast, um, head out, and I'm going to ride through some really cool roads, some super twisty roads in the Ozarks. Uh, making my way east and hopefully finding some place to camp about 150 to 200 miles east of here. Um, I do have a little bit of a water crossing to get through first thing in the morning, so I'm not looking forward to that. It was a little bit tricky. The current was a little stronger than I thought it was um, when I came into the campground, um, but we'll see how that goes. Anyways, this is just a really cool area of the United States. Um, it's kind of underrated and overlooked. Um, but it's super twisty roads, really beautiful green trees. Um, so I'm going to show you all of that today. So I've been getting rained on for the past three days, three or so days. Uh, and it looks like I finally got some blue sky to ride under, so I'm pretty stoked about that. Uh, I think this is going to be a pretty good day.
now I'm in a town called Mount Judea and I just rode up the mountain pass that goes to Mount Judea. I'll show you on the map where I am. Uh, it was a really beautiful ride, really fun, super twisty, a lot of switchbacks. Um, if you're ever in the area, definitely check out this road. Uh, it was an absolute blast. Um, this whole area is just incredible riding. Um, so if you're, if you're anywhere near this area, it's worth a trip down here to um, do some riding. Anyways, I'm going to take a quick break and then get back on the road. i got to figure out where I'm heading next and where I'm going to be camping tonight. Alright, I'm completely lost. Um, I don't have any maps and I don't have any cell service in this area so I'm not able to plot out a route. Uh, the road turned to dirt, which I was okay with, actually pretty excited about, um, but I just came up on this intersection and I'm not sure which way I'm supposed to go and I can't get my map to load. Um, so I'm gonna try one way and see what happens. Uh, I've circled back around to each each of the three roads that, that intersect um, and I don't seem to be on the road that I want to be on. Um, I have an offline map loaded but no real detail to it. Um, so anyways, yeah, I'm pretty lost right now and I'm gonna see if I can't find my way out of here. Alright, so I've been on this road for about an hour now, um, still haven't found the main road. It's kind of like a residential area, there's a lot of houses, um, but I've never seen houses that are so remote like that. Um, so anyways, I have an option here, I can go to what looks like the main road or I can keep going where it gets really twisty uh, and looks like I might pass some pretty cool things, so I think I'm going to take the long way. Uh, the road's pretty pretty decent um, for not being a county maintained road it's pretty well maintained I don't know who does that um, anyways I'm gonna take the long way and see what we can find Alright, so it looks like this road might actually dead end. Uh, either that or my map's just not loading the rest of the route. It looks like it dead ends. It splits off in a few different directions and each one of them dead ends, which seems unlikely. And there was no sign saying that this was a dead end, so I'm going to keep going anyway. 
there's a waterfall coming up that I want to check out. Uh, and then hopefully I can make it back to the main road. Otherwise, I'm going to have to turn around and backtrack um, a good hour and a half probably. Uh, so I hope I don't have to do that. I also don't have enough water uh, to camp tonight. So I have to get to a gas station before I can set up camp for the night. Uh, so I do need to find the main road. It's unfortunate. I should have thought of bringing the water with me. Um, I didn't know I was going to be doing off-road like this, but there is camping in here. So I would have been able to camp probably right by the waterfall, uh, but that's not going to happen because I don't have my water filter with me and I only have like a half a liter of water. So anyways, like I said, we're going to keep going and check out this waterfall next uh, and then see if this is really a dead end or not. If you're trying to find that waterfall, it's called Six Finger Falls in Arkansas. Pretty cool. Uh, it was definitely worth checking out. I found another waterfall. This one looks pretty cool. It's pretty big. Let's go check it out. So I just stopped and asked somebody and this road does go through. So that's pretty great news. Um, it looks like maybe only a few more miles I'll be on Route 16, which is the main route. Um, then I'll have to find a gas station from there and then find somewhere to camp. Uh, this waterfall was really cool. Uh, I wish I had a little more time. I'd go swimming here. But I really got to get supplies and find a place to camp for tonight. This has been a great day. Okay, so I stopped at a gas station and I got enough cell service to plot out two separate campgrounds. That way if the first one is full, I can still get to the second one. I have absolutely no cell service out here. So I got the offline maps downloaded. I just pulled up to the dirt road that's going to lead to the first campsite. Hopefully I can find something in here. I'm getting a little tired and I don't really want to ride to the next one which is uh, 40 minutes away. Um, so hopefully this is a good campground and I can find somewhere to sleep for the night.
Okay, so the first campsite actually ended up being pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and set up camp, uh, make dinner, relax a little bit, uh, maybe read my book and uh, just relax for the night. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up here. I'll leave you with me setting up camp. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you got something out of this video and don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. See you in the next one.